Greetings and welcome again everyone and Ubiquity have dropped yet another early access toy for the public to berate, including myself. Um, they have the Unify Mobile Router. Uh, this has just dropped on the UI Innovation site, which I'll try to take down there. Um, and we'll watch a bit of it on here in a second. But I'm just going to caveat this with I'm not going to do a full thoughts on uh, on the, the product because again it's just a such a short thing that you won't get a full idea of it until you can get hold of one we can't get hold of them here over in europe and the uk yet because they're only on the us early access site and uh from what i've already seen and read on the, the actual product description um ubiquity are once again in the us as it stands uh, locking you in with this product um, not in a good way now I'm gonna flick over to the uh, video in a second uh, and we'll go through it but we as Unify installers have had to deal with things like the LTE Pro over here in the UK um, and Ubiquiti's mobile offering so far has not been great so let's flick over to the uh, video quickly and I'll give you my thoughts as we run through it. So I've started the video halfway through here because the first half of the video is just marketing fluff. Um, so what we'll do is run through the video, I'm going to stop, comment on sections of it, and we'll go through and I'll give you some of my take on what is going on with this new product. Unify Mobility, a completely new platform developed so straight away, we've got a new console, we've got a new platform. If any of one is familiar, has used anything from Unify in the past, um, this looks very, very familiar. We've got the device, we've got its status, we've got carrier, signal, the clients, location, how much data it's used and its current upload and download. Now, just some things to quickly pick up from on here. Obviously, uh, in the US, this device is carrier locked to AT&T. So it's actually SIM locked at the moment. Uh, if and when this launches in Europe, um, it should be unlocked. Uh, it's very rare to find it's actually, it will actually be locked. We have the LTE Pro over here, which is currently uh, unlocked. But what this also does show is it's claiming that it's a 5G, 4G, 3G device. Um, I, going on the product specs, I would not say it's a true 5G device. I would say that's if it is this one, it's going to be a 4G device maximum. Um, going on the fact that it only supports 150 meg down and 50 meg up, which is not great, but going on its current price, that would be why. Uh, also interesting here is listed with gigabit ethernet. Now, whether that's because it's connected and isn't running on, I don't know, not running on its signal, whatever, but whether it can be used as a gigabit ethernet router or something like that. We don't know. But uh, until such time as we get hold of one, then we'll find out. Developed specifically for these organizations, along with a new product category called the Unify Mobile Router. So this is the first product in this category, the mobile router, mobile router in English. Um, so again, typically ubiquity, I'm assuming this will be a small touchscreen. Uh, we've got the what they call their uh, long range antenna clipped onto the top of this. And we've got ports, which we'll get a better look at in a second. The UMR is a compact LTE router that can be instantly set up to provide reliable internet in any environment, even on the move. It also features secondary power. So you can see here we've got USB C power reset button We've got poe in and poe out now on the specs this will take power from 802.3 aaf but to use the poe out you need poe plus so 802.3 at but it's also got for anyone who's familiar with some of the small industrial routers the small industrial 3g 4g 5g routers they often have a little 12 volt power adapter uh, with them which runs on a four pin and Interestingly, uh, Ubiquiti have included it in this one. Powering options for industrial use cases. And with the Unify Mobility software platform, 
Any number of UMRs can be seamlessly monitored and managed from anywhere in the world. So it would in, it would imply that there is a GPS aspect to this device as well. Now, that in itself has pros and cons, especially here in the UK, where if you're able to track someone, if you're using this for a business and you're handing these out to employees and you're able to track employees with these, this has to be able to be turned off. So we'll see on that. Um, but that is the product. Now, let's... Ubiquity, rethinking IT. Now, something I'm just going to quickly go back through on if I can find it. So let's go back to the router itself. Um, for anyone who has never experienced the LTE, LTE Pro uh, range, Ubiquity and mobile connections have never been the best. Um, we still have LTE Pros that you turn the external uh, antennas on and they don't work. Uh, so this is a bit of an interesting idea from them before they've even fixed the current product range. And again, this is yet another product range that they're launching, which great, fantastic. They see, see a need, fill a need to, to quote robots. Um, but what we're still waiting for are replacements for products that are so long in the tooth now that they're, they're just unusable anymore. And we need replacements for those ubiquity. This is great. But can we have some USG3 replacements, please? Um, the emphasis on this as well, this is actually in the 4G mobile router lineup, quite a low spec device. Download speeds of uh, 150 meg, upload speeds of 50 meg. Um, the built in Wi Fi is only 2.4. Uh, so again, very very limited product it's a very much entry level device for this lineup now we'll see on that whether ubiquity are going to expand this product range out with some bigger lte routers maybe even amalgamate it into the uh, unified network app to allow some working there we'll see but at the in the meantime this is a product that's locked to a carrier again, which isn't ideal because carriers have black spots. You need a product that has, if, you, if you're gonna launch a mobile product, you need to be able to work out which carrier is in your area because for some people, this product's gonna be useless because there'll be no coverage by AT&T. Same thing in here in the UK, we have the four big carriers, Vodafone, EE, O2, 3, um, and, and if there's no coverage in your area, there's no point. That, that This is a an issue whereby the existing players in the market have covered that with dual SIM devices. This, this is something that Ubiquiti are playing catch up on and they're hoping by the sounds of it to trade on their brand image and their existing infrastructure to sell this. Now, when this comes out in Europe, we'll try and grab one, I'll try and have a play. And then when it launches, I'll be able to give you an opinion. But until then, I would exercise some caution on this. That being said, if you have any comments on this, be grateful to you to, to stick some comments down below. Obviously, again, I will include the uh, link to the UI innovations thing down below, and you can go and give the full video a watch. But this is a product that currently is, is is in a marketplace that is well saturated and this going on its specs is a low-end product at the moment so it's going to take some time before ubiquity come along with a faster product we wouldn't be looking at this except for emergency use cases just because we don't need this sort of product what we need from ubiquity is usg replacements and stock stock would be good so yes. Anyway, if you've got this far, thank you for watching. Please feel free to give us a like, share, subscribe, all the normal stuff. Um, and I will catch up with you soon.